All right, hey guys, uh, tonight I've got a product uh, to show you that I was immediately excited for when I saw it, and that is the triple AK insert from Hugo Industries. Uh, I don't think anybody's done an AK magazine pouch like this before, uh, and I thought it was a really novel concept. So uh, if you're like me, there's plenty of reasons not to mess with AKs, uh, not the least of which being that the mags are not super friendly uh, to pockets with the, the tooth on the back of the mag there, right? Uh, the locking lug, All right? So they, they can make finding mag pouches kind of a challenge. Uh, if you've got a mag pouch that has any kind of a lip sewn into it, I don't think this Kiwi does here, uh, any kind of a folded over lip there, those can catch those locking lugs really well uh, and be kind of a bear. All right, so finding something that works, not the easiest thing. Uh, and that's aside from whatever limitations of the system itself uh, you you find to be a burden. All right, so this thing, uh, pretty neat concept. I've got it in my head-on tactical uh, placard here, which was made for three 308 mags. Uh, Hugo said it'll fit stuff designed for uh, M4 mags, so I will I will check that and I'll show you guys that hopefully a little bit later on. All right, but let's get it taken out of uh, this pocket and show you guys what it's all about. I do want to show you guys, so the 30 round mags that I have in here, the P mags, they fit pretty all right. Uh, there's a little bit of contact between the mags, uh, but you can still draw them just fine. If you tried to step it up to like a 40 round mag, uh, there's just too much curve there. All right, it's going to go over into the other mag. If you're using the 20 round P mags, uh, those are going to work great uh, because there's so much less sweep to the mag that they won't interfere with each other. Uh, 30 is a, a relatively happy medium though. And then uh, the retention is fairly good, uh, but if you're at a full sprint, especially if you were trying to do the, the 40 round mags, there's a chance that you're gonna dump some mags out of there. So I would highly encourage uh, using some shot cord, even if it's just around the edge of the mag to give it a little bit something more to bite onto. Uh, probably around the front so you don't catch that locking lug. Uh, but I can show you here, if I tip it upside down, you gotta shake a little bit, but they will come out um, if you shake hard enough. So the retention is not as tight as it could be, uh, but let's get it out of there and show you guys how it works. Okay, so I do wanna say, uh, when I tried shaking it, at least two of the three mags were uh, fully loaded. So they had the weight in them. Uh, one of the mags was not, uh, which was probably the better performer there. All right, but looking at this thing, uh, so it is three uh, of these 3D printed loops, uh, which are then retained by this uh, nylon and Velcro uh, band here. All right, and if you watched my uh, taco feed lip video, these things, I mean, even without the label, you would know they come from Hugo. Uh, because he's got the kind of the teeth that catch this band top and bottom and then uh, it loops over uh, in the middle there and in the middle there and then this side also has the teeth. Uh, the middle portion here has a tooth to catch the bottom of the the webbing uh, on both sides so it's not really going anywhere. Uh, one thing of note uh, that I didn't even think about when I when I bought this is its hook on both sides uh, so you're going to want to pay attention to whatever placard you intend to use this with. My head-on placard has a hook on one side and loop on the other, and not a ton of it uh, either. So not the most ideal setup, and that's totally on me, uh, because I'm only using about half of the available hook on one half of the rig. Uh, so not, not the greatest uh, route to go if you want to use the Hugo uh, insert. All right, uh, but why is it built this way? Uh, so a lot of times if you have like a Kydex insert paired with a placard, the Kydex will be on the front and back face of the magazine, uh, giving it a nice squeeze, uh, just like your Kiwi inserts and these STAC pouches do, all right? So as you insert the mag there, uh, it just kind of clamps onto the body of the mag and holds it in place, which you could absolutely do with AK mags as well. However, uh, the issue that we run into is that that locking lug on the magazine gets in the way when we try to retrieve the mag. So what Hugo has done 
is by making the sides rigid, uh, you have a nice platform for that to ride in as it inserts into uh, the pocket. And then you can see that locking lug rides uh, the 3D printed material on the way up and there's nothing to catch on. Uh, and that's why I was so excited for this is it deals specifically with the issue of the locking lug. A lot of times you'll have issues with pouches not being you know, appropriately sized for AK mags. That can be annoying. Uh, sometimes they're too short uh, if you're trying to use something M4 based. Sometimes they can be really long if you're using AK specific stuff and you're trying to put it on a placard. Uh, you can have issues with ride height. This one kind of cuts down on that uh, because it's sized for an M4 height uh, placard and then you just have extra mag uh, coming out the top of it. Uh, but it it solves the issue of the locking lug, uh, which is the coolest thing in my book and uh, really where this thing shines. So let's pull out a uh, an M4 size placard and see how this works in there. Uh, Hugo tells me that it'll fit widthwise. Uh, I need to see it to believe it, and I want you guys to be able to see it too. So just give me one moment. All right, so... I got it installed in my uh, Spiritus Microfight here, and it is very close to successfully fitting three mags. Uh, this last one just doesn't quite want to go in there, and I, th I think it it's only off by about a quarter inch. Um, and I don't know if I could make up that quarter inch by playing with this Velcro a little bit and trying to line it up better. Um, I don't know. I will say the retention, now that I am successfully using all of the Velcro, right, because this is configured in the Microfight Velcro pattern, the retention is much better. Uh, and I don't think that's an issue of anything being too tight, right, because I only have two mags in here right now, so they're not pushing against each other. And I can even, I can even spread this out and uh, do it like that. And the retention is much, much better. I squeezed that one out there, sorry. Uh, much better than it was with the uh, the poorly used Velcro footprint. Um, but yeah, I think it is just, at least on the micro fight, I think it's just a little too snug. Only just barely. Uh, so you might be able to make that work. It There's a chance it's an issue of the, the P mags versus uh, like a steel mag. I don't know. I don't have any steel 30 round mags kicking around. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It marries up really well. It fits in there, uh, pretty well. And, uh, the retention is better now. So I don't know if the, the Haley rigs are just a little bit wider. Uh, the, the M4 based head on rigs might be a little wider, but the Velcro footprint's going to throw you off there. I'm not sure. Maybe the Mark V when Spiritus drops that will be just a little bit wider. I want to say that the Microfight is one of the thinner ones out there. Um, but you could absolutely make this work uh, with a little bit of research. I don't know if you've got like a uh, an Extreme Gear Labs rig or something and you had it, had them space it just a little bit more. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's so close. I feel like I did something wrong here, but I'm not sure what I did. Uh, yeah. But anyways, that is the uh, Hugo Industries Triple AK uh insert absolutely works as advertised as far as mag retention and ease of drawing the mags goes i'm just not quite sure uh what placard to recommend you pair it with right because neither of the two that i have here are super ideal but there's tons of other options out there so i don't want to say it doesn't work in an m4 footprint placard just not this one and just not the way i have it set up i don't know what I could do to fix that. So yeah, Hugo Industries, triple AK insert. I think it's a good idea. I think it's as refined as it needs to be. I just don't know the ideal placard to pair it with. All right, thanks guys.